Hey guys, it's Chris here, and I'm checking in with you guys about my alopecia areata and my hair loss and my current treatment plan and things that are going on. So if you've watched any of my Whole30 videos, especially some of my um, videos where I talk about like what's next, what's different this time, you will know that I have dabbled in what's called the autoimmune paleo or autoimmune protocol paleo approach to dealing with my hair loss. And that is sort of an all encompassing lifestyle change. It's not about just cutting out grains, sugar, dairy, all that. It's also about taking out nuts and nightshades and eggs and additional um, triggers for your body so that your body can heal. Alopecia areata is an um, autoimmune problem. I've had this since I was 13 years old. I have had bouts of several years at a time of remission. Uh, since I was about 20, I would have two or three years and then there would be an incident and I would have a flare and I would lose hair and patches. Then I would get treated with um, steroid topical injections in the actual spot on my scalp. The hair would grow back. I'd have another few years, something else would happen and I would have another flare same thing over and over again. Um, my most recent flare happened actually um, about four years ago, almost now in 2013, after we had our fire and I went back to school and I just had a lot of stuff happening and my husband's insurance does not cover hair loss treatment. So I was unable to go to the dermatologist and be treated as I had in the past. I spent about $700 to go to the dermatologist for her to give me a tube of cream that I didn't really use and um, didn't really help me any at all. So I was stuck and um, it's just gotten worse and worse over that time. When I last year had started the AIP, I did have some periods of regrowth after about six weeks of eliminating eggs and nuts. Uh, nightshades are kind of hard for me. I didn't think I really cared for much for tomatoes, but I love like tomato sauce and I love ketchup. And um, seasonings were an area um, that I had some trouble with and potatoes. <laughs> I love white potatoes, but I love sweet potatoes more. Anyways, I digress. So I did have some regrowth and then life just kept happening. And so I'm gonna show you where I am currently with my hair loss. In the past, I would have a patch here or there or something. And as I said, this has been going on now for about four years with no medical intervention. And this is where I am right now. So. As you can see, this up here, this is pretty new because it just continues to get worse. Now I'm going to turn around. I hope you can see what I'm showing you. All this back here. You may see um, some gray and white hairs. This is um, where I have had regrowth and some of them are quite long. And uh, I hope I know it's probably getting really sparkly there and then also up here is falling out too okay so oh, you wouldn't know it to look at me right looks good i'm very thankful for this hair that i do have and um, that's why you often see me with my hair like this this is one of the few ways I can kind of do it. I do wear it down sometimes, but I get nervous when I wear it down, out, and about, especially if it's windy, especially if I get a good gust from the back. Woo! It's hello, bald. <laughs> um, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with sharing this um, with people for a long time, especially as a teenager. It was very difficult for me. People called me Miracle Grow and were really, really mean, um, but I, I can't help it. And uh, watching... <laughs> Stella on here. She showed her hair. She's a beautiful girl from the UK. She's just wonderful. And um, her story was really inspiring for me because I was getting really, really sad earlier in the year. And she's encouraged me to go back to AIP. And, and that's, that's where I'm headed. And that's where I'm going. Um, I also though, because thankfully we live in a world where there is modern medicine, I was able to see another doctor and I'm going to start I have started systemic steroid treatment. Um, this was also something that I was encouraged to do by Stella. Not necessarily that she says that that's what happened to her. She had a secondary autoimmune disorder, um, Crohn's disease, and because she was having a really, really bad problem with that, they put her on oral steroids for eight weeks. And um, 
I do believe that that is part of her hair growth and she thinks so too. Um, but of course having the AIP, those sleeping and less lowering your stress and, you know, staying away from foods that are irritants to the gut, those kind of things are very helpful. I mentioned before, you know, that I'd seen a previous video where someone mentioned this and he had, it was a man had alopecia on his face and it spread to his hair. And when he first said no eggs, that really clicked to me because when I had my first hair growth um, without any treatment ever was when I was in basic training. Not only do you think, well, basic training, <laughs> but I was on a sleep schedule. I just wore what they told me to wear. I did what they told me to do. And I didn't eat any eggs because I'm really particular about how my scrambled eggs are cooked. I like them really dry and they serve them really wet and gross. And I can't do that. So I think all of those things in combination really helped. But the egg thing really stuck with me. So I, I definitely don't eat eggs anymore. And I haven't um, really since watching that previous video. I will try to link it and put it down there below. I think I linked it in a previous video where I talked about this. But anyways, why am I doing this now? I'm checking in with you because last Friday I received my first 20 milligrams of Kenalog, um I am, not I am, well, yeah, I am <laughs> in my hip over here. And I'm going to do four-week check-ins. So the next one will probably actually be in about two or three weeks because this was about a week ago, I will try to see, you know, how I'm feeling about growth, if things are coming in. It feels a little bit fuzzy in some places that were pretty bald. So um, we shall see. I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I can be done with the treatment. But I think the AIP hand in hand with these um, Kenalog treatments are going to help me kickstart my growth. I mean, topical injections, I couldn't imagine at this magnitude, about 50% almost hair loss would do for me. Um, I had wanted to take oral steroids, but they said, no, 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 it's too much. We're going to do this injectable instead. I did some research and found that it has been helpful for other people with the same problem. So I'm hoping it works for me. And so that's what I'm going to do here with you guys. I wanted to give you a bit of backstory if you didn't have one and what I has helped me in the past and what I'm going to do moving forward. And I'm just going to do this once I get my shots so that you guys can see a progression. I'm hoping to not get big old moon face <laughs> or get really mean. Um, so far, so good. I'm trying to be extra super mindful of my eating, um, make sure I'm not getting into a lot of hunger pains, but I don't feel like I'm having that so far. Um, and I hope I don't, but that can be a side effect of the steroid treatment. So again, that's what I'm doing here. Do you have alopecia? Do you know anybody who has alopecia? Um, what has helped them? I've also switched my shampoo. I know that it's not an external thing. I'm not here for trolls trying to sell me stuff. <laughs> Please don't do that. But um, genuinely, this is a problem that I've had for a long time. And I'm learning more about it um, in the last year or so than I did in all the years that I've had it. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for um, my treatment options and the lifestyle choices that I know I can make that will help me too. So until four weeks from now, guys, and just praying for hair and uh, I'll see you then.